Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Yes, students. Um, today we are going to talk about how to teach speaking. There are some outlines that I'm going to talk about during this meeting. The first one is the reasons for teaching speaking. The other one is the speaking sequences and then followed by the discussion and then more speaking suggestion, correcting speaking and finally what teachers do during speaking activity. So let's start from the first topic. So why do we need to teach speaking? First, because speaking activities provide rehearsal opportunities for students, of course. With teaching speaking, we can encourage students to practice speaking. And the other reason is that speaking tasks in which students try to use any or all of the language they know provide feedback for both teachers and the students. So with the speaking activities in the classroom, teachers will find out whether the students is already capable or not. And also students can find out whether they are already able or not in speaking. And finally, <coughs> sorry, more students have more opportunities to activate the various elements of language they have stored in their brains. And the more automatic they use these elements, they become more fluent in speaking. And next, what are the speaking sequences? So I think uh, to find out more detailed information about this activity, I suggest you to check directly on the book from Jeremy Harmer with the title of How to Teach English with the chapter of How to, uh, how to Teach Speaking. Uh, you will find more information about this. Yeah. So in speaking sequences, you can use the photographic competition. This is normally for intermediate or to advanced students. You can also use role play and you can also use portrait interview. Remember, uh, try to um, make sure that you use the right sequence for the level of the student's speaking ability. And then you can also use the activity such as discussion for speaking. This is a very popular activity for speaking. And you can also use other activities such as information gap activities, telling stories, favorite objects, meeting and greeting, survey, famous people, student presentation, balloon debate, and also moral dilemma. And what about correcting students speaking? Sometimes it can give complicated situation for the teacher. So this kind of gentle correction may take the form of reformulation where the teacher repeat what the students has said, but correctly this time and does not ask the students repetition of the correcting form. So in terms of correcting the speaking, sometimes the teacher should be wise whether the teacher should interfere the speaking activity directly or whether the teacher should wait until the students finish uh, practicing their speaking and then give the feedback after that. Of course, there are some weaknesses and also some strengths. For example, if the teachers give feedback after the students finish uh, practicing of their speaking, probably the teachers forget about what uh, she or he is going to say, this kind of things. Right, so what teachers do during the speaking activity? So some teachers get very involved with their students during speaking activity and want to participate in their activity themselves. They may argue forcefully in a discussion or get fascinated by a role play or start playing themselves. And sometimes teachers should be wise whether the teachers can get involved in that conversation or not. Because good involvement from the teacher will result in an effective speaking uh, activity. But on the other hand, if the teacher uh, doesn't have a good um, interfere in students speaking activity then it can discourage students to speak or to practice more in the teaching and learning process 
So um, I think that's all about our topic on how to teach speaking. Um, if I may suggest, in practicing speaking, try to give a teacher talking time less than the student talking time. Always give opportunity for the students to practice more in speaking activity. Good luck with your students in speaking class. Thank you very much and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.